So where do you think we are at the moment? A little mysterious, isn't it? We are actually now right in the middle of this city. Would you believe it? A wilderness right in the middle of Delhi. But besides, this is a sacred land. This is our oldest heritage in this country. It is part of the Aravalis. The Aravalis came all the way from Antarctica with the Indian plate to fuse into the Asian plate and make the Himalayas and the Ganga. And that is where we are. This is where all the cities of Delhi till the Mughals came were inhabited. And this is the place which is today being destroyed. The first complete map of Delhi is the Survey of India map 1807. Available for 7 rupees at the survey office, it is also the most complete map of the ridge, as the ridge at that time was still a distant girdle around the city, not subject to commercial manipulation. With its undulating landscape and thick forests, the Delhi Ridge was a refuge for a variety of wildlife. In fact, the last sighting of a leopard took place in the 50s. Now, it is wilderness in the heart of a city. The ridge is a contiguous hill formation of the Aravali Range. From the first master plan in 1960 onwards, it has been strictly protected by mandate in all master plans. In 1994, the ridge was partitioned by devious planners and developers. Four tracts were notified as reserve forest. The rest left out, not accidentally. This is one such part. The ridge cannot disappear by slate of hand. Or can it? This area was quarried for Badarpur and stone during the British times and then taken over by the Sindhyas and in 1989 quarrying was suspended. An amazing transformation took place over here. All these deep quarries which lie by my side over here, which go more than 100 feet deep, which have this fantastic rock face, were formed and left to themselves and turned into lakes and water bodies. This area has 14 such water bodies at least. And over the years, they attracted all kinds of migrant birds from Siberia, from China. Now it's interesting, once we showed a picture of this quarry, when there was a mule train taking Badarpur up, and somebody thought it was Ladakh, somebody else thought it was the Grand Canyon, but actually it's right here in the middle of Delhi, about 20 minutes walk from the airport. Till 1999, this area had a lot of water. Actually, you can see the water line. It's just above where the grasses are and where the foliage starts, about 15 feet above where it is right now. That water has disappeared over the last six years. As the hotels like the Grand Hyatt withdraw water illegally, as the malls come up, as the army withdraws water, we are now completely out of water and we haven't had any of our visitors from Siberia at all over the last five years. The shallow quarries produced a revelation in forestry. Plantations without planting. Naturally regenerated neem, shisham and kikar forest in seven years. This came about as the shallow quarries of quartzite have many crannies and fractured formations that can trap seed. The leftover mounds of stone debris also trapped seed, which would otherwise have been blown away 
by the strong winds from the low pressure created during hot summer days. Ironically, though quarrying is always bad for forestry, in this case, it can be made to work to create forest, a great way of foresting rocky wasteland. The article explaining this discovery as a new way of foresting was promptly published by the Swedish Royal Academy in their journal Ambio. Some of the animals that can still be seen are the nilgai, jackals, the great horned owl, and monitor lizards. But this ecological system is now on the brink of extinction. And ironically, those responsible for destroying this forest are its custodians. The let us take a look at the conservation status of this part of the ridge. All forests in the country are protected. A large proportion of them are not notified as reserve forests. The forest status of this area is ratified by all authorities. Forest Department of Delhi, Environmental Impact Assessment Authority or the EIAA, the Environmental Protection and Control Authority, commonly known as the Bhurilal Committee, and CEC. The EPCA, the Apex Environmental Authority for the National Capital Territory, and the CEC, has established that the whole area would stand classified as forest. And the Forest Conservation Act 1980 applies to it, irrespective of its ownership and intended use. The Geological Survey of India, or the GSI, directed by the Supreme Court in 1997, has clearly and unambiguously demarcated the entire area of 640 hectares as the ridge. And all master plans from 1962 onwards make it mandatory to conserve the ridge. It says no infringement is permitted. The ridge must be preserved in its pristine glory. Yet the Delhi Development Authority does not show it as the ridge in the new master plan. The Central Groundwater Authority of the CGWA notified it as a vital water recharge area. The CGWA in its deposition to the CEC stated that development activities will adversely affect the groundwater regime in the area. Residents are aggrieved that the constructions are destroying this community groundwater reserve of Vasantkunj, Munirka, Mahipalpur, JNU and Vasant Vihar. Here, it's, it's, it's a pretty stark choice that people are presented with. Normally, you see, people do feel that, that they themselves are being violated in various ways. I mean, their right to oxygen or their right to, to water is being taken away. But somehow they're not able to quite formulate what is going on. In this case, I think with this movement, that these ideas are getting formulated in a very clear way. I mean, you've got a few sharks, you know, who think that they're being very, very smart commercially and they're going to make a huge amount of money, are carving out this, shop, this shopping mall uh, from the ridge. In fact, it's, it's right being built uh, inside one of the valleys, I mean, which carries a lot of the water. It, it was completely green. More and more people have to stand up. It's a question of building these sensibilities. And only when you do something about something as obvious as this, are you really able to educate yourself? I don't mean just at an intellectual level. I mean at an emotional or cultural. I mean at, at that deeper level. And if you're going to live in the city or if you're part of the city, if, I think it just becomes your duty to, to take these types of stands. Many of the protected species 
that are listed under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Act 1979 are found in this area. More than 15 lakes and other water bodies, like streams, are located in the area. All authorities, the Love Rajkumar Committee, the EIAA, the EPCA, the CEC, the CGWA and GSI have all affirmed the total conservation status of this area, the oldest natural heritage in the country. By law, this entire 640 hectares of the ridge is protected on all counts. हर 36 प्रकार का जनावर था यहां पर एक जनावर ऐसा भी था जिसको शेर बगैर बोलते थे कभी वो भी यहां पर रहते थे वो लील गाय रोंज हिरण और ये लोमड़ी वगैरह गीदर चीतड़ ये तो ज्यादा थे ही और एक ग्रिज इनको बहुत लंबी नाड़ होती थी वो ग्रिज और डांगरों को खाती थी वो भी बहुत ज्यादा थी आजकल जब से ये आर्मी और डीडीए यहां पर आई उस दिन से यहां पर हमारे खान वगैरह सब बंद हुई उनमें ना तो पानी रहा और वहां से जो गाय भी जनावर भी जो थे फुटके के कारण से जो हैं बम बारिश है वे यहां से गायब हुए दिस एरिया इज सराउंडेड बाय द एयरपोर्ट द पॉश एनक्लेव ऑफ वसंत विहार वेयर वन स्क्वायर यार्ड ऑफ लैंड इज रनिंग एट 2 लाख रुपीस जेएनयू एंड वसंत कुंज इट इज प्राइम लैंड वेयर प्रेशर्स टू डेवलप द लैंड फॉर कमर्शियल वेंचर्स इज ह्यूज even the army considers it as prime residential area the delhi development authority which has been given the powers to guard and protect delhi's last green area is systematically carving out large chunks of land from the ridge and selling it to private developers so what does this ridge do for the person who lives around here uh, what is the significance of the ridge the ridge is a very beautiful wilderness in the middle of a city but for most people that's not enough. It is completely protected under the master plan as an area where no infringement is allowed. It must be preserved in its pristine glory. But are these just words or is there more to it? Well, actually the ridge is life. Why I'm saying this is because in a city with swirling traffic all around this area, all the exhaust is what gives all the kids in the neighborhood, all the growing children, the asthma. The ridge processes all this and converts it into oxygen. It is the giver of life for these children. It might save their lives. And that is not all. Water is something that is getting scarcer and scarcer in Delhi every year. In all the surrounding areas, Vasant Kunj, Vasant Vihar, Munirka and Mahipalpur, they depend largely on groundwater. And believe it or not, this seven square kilometers of ridge is a vital water recharge area. It recharges about 75% of the groundwater. If you want to live here, this is the area which is your lifeline. In 1994, the first deception took place. This and many other parts of the ridge were left out of the reserved forest notification and the vice chairman of the DDA deposed before the Love Raj committee, saying that the proper management of the ridge would be facilitated if the entire ridge is also declared development area. In 1995, the DDA started building a road from Vasant Kunj to Vasant Vihar. This was stopped by an order of the High Court of Delhi in response to a petition filed by us at CPQLW. In 1996, DDA launched the International Hotels Complex, where 13 luxury hotels were to be built on this ridge. A public interest litigation was again filed by CPQLW in the Supreme Court. Acting on the petition, Justice Kuldeep Singh of the Supreme Court passed a judgment in September 1996 to set up EIAA, or the Environment Impact Assessment Authority, to look into the environmental aspects and impact of this project and all other big projects in the NCR. The EIAA was the first urban environmental legislation in the country. The EIAA established in 1997 that the entire area was demarcated as the ridge by the Geological Survey of India 
and a forest and water recharge area. Even so, this did not stop the destruction of the ridge by its custodians, the army and the DDA. Delhi is already um, full of buildings. Now there are certain park, um, parts which are really lungs of the city. And this part especially is that it's going back to thousands of years. And they are destroying it. Uh, on the one hand, this defense ministry is building. And the other hand, this DDA is building without any permission, without any uh, consideration. I don't know what people can do. I mean, we have gone to the Supreme Court. But uh, we must uh, start some kind of agitation. It's a, it's a matter for, uh, for as far as this part is concerned. For that matter, Delhi is concerned. It's a matter of life and death. In 1998 and 99, the army, which had got 325 hectares from the airport authority to conduct military exercises in the 80s, started building a huge housing colony on the ridge. The CPQLW informed the army of its infringement on a protected area, with all documentary proof. The army continued building regardless. I mean, these are the people who should be preserving our natural heritage. I mean, if there was an attack on the Red Port or on Humayun's tomb, you would expect the army to be protecting that because that's part of our cultural heritage. In the same way, you ex expect the army to be protecting our natural heritage. But here the army is turned into an enemy of the whole thing. It's the one which is actually destroying it. Now, I mean, what can one really say? I mean, we have to try to somehow use the, 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 the other forces, the other more progressive forces in society to try to counter this madness. In December 2003, the army started building again, cutting the forest and was fined by the forest department, again with full knowledge that it was building on Ridge Forest. December 2003, DDA advertises and auctions the Vasant Kunj Mall. In January 2004, CPQLW filed a petition with the Centrally Impart Committee, or the CEC, of the Supreme Court on the forest status of this ridge. Around 18 months or so back, I saw in CEC, Mr. Kuldeep Nayar, Professor Soni, and many other IIT and uh, JNU professors fighting a case for the preservation and protection of the ridge. I was sitting there for some other case, I realized since these intellectuals are fighting for a cause of Delhi, I volunteered, I stood up and I conveyed to them that if you need, I as a lawyer, as a citizen of Delhi is available for this case. March 2004, CEC directs the Delhi government and the Ministry of Environment and Forests to ensure no further construction takes place till the case is finally heard by the Supreme Court. But the building activities still did not stop. You're taking away the last remaining area, you know, for kids to actually go with their parents, with their older brothers or sisters, and have fun, be wild. You know, scrape your knee, never mind. You know, it makes you strong, it makes you love nature. And you're putting a mall instead of it, a mall that has been seen, Gurgaon is full of malls. I mean, you look at Gurgaon, it was so green, you know, and that's taken away, and then you take away this, what's left? Nothing, buildings. July 2004, CEC report again establishes the whole area as the ridge, forest, and water recharge area. Recommends it being declared reserved forest or a national park. The Supreme Court does not stay or enforce these recommendations. 2005, DDA goes on regardless with the malls, and the army starts another huge complex in the summer. The DDA advertisement for the Vasant Kunj Mall, dated 12th December 2003, prints the important clarification. To quote, Purchases would be required to obtain necessary clearance for the project from the Environmental Pollution Prevention and Control Authority, EPCA, and the Delhi Pollution Control Committee before submitting the plans for sanction to the building department of DDA. No environmental clearances have been got by the DDA 
or the army. Yet, no action has been taken, in spite of five affidavits filed for a stay in the Supreme Court. So, where do we go from here? Attempts to save the ridge and its biodiversity by concerned citizens are continuing at the judicial level and also with the authorities. It's a strange dichotomy. Surveys done at the persuasion of the courts have cleared any ambiguity that this area has to be protected for the sake of Delhi. But the same authorities are acting in complete and illegal negation. For 12 years we have worked without a pause to protect this beautiful heritage which is already completely protected but it has been a process of one step forward two steps back. Hundreds of protesters voiced their concern and anguish at the mall site in January 2006. Who are we fighting for and against whom? The custodians of this area, the DDA and the army are blind to law and sensibility. The protectors, the Ministry of Environment and Forests of the Centre and State, the Delhi Administration and the DDA have abdicated all responsibility at the altar of senseless commercialization and short-term gain. On the one hand, at the prodding of the courts, demolitions of unauthorized buildings go on where illegalities, like an extra floor, are considered reprehensible. But in reality, these are but little felonies compared to what is happening on the ridge. The DDA and the army are committing violations that can be equated to premeditated murder or rape for the third time. This is the crime. There is little left of this heritage, but it can still be saved. So we have been battling to save this area for the last 12 years. You might ask why? Because it is a completely protected area. We don't expect anybody to come and make an assault on it. Yet the custodians, the DDA and the army, who are supposed to protect it, have been savaging this area. They have done it now for the fifth time. It is incomprehensible. Any city in the world would die for a wilderness like this in the middle of a city. After all, we do have to leave something for the future generation. First May 2006. The construction of the mall stayed subject to environmental clearances, but not the army construction.